I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Exactly what I wanted. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas number one of 2024. What the heck? I cannot even believe that it's freaking Vlogmas of 2024. I was thinking back on it and I was like, when was the first year I ever did Vlogmas? And I actually filmed Vlogmas on my main channel back in like 2016. I think I did like a weekly version, but I still filmed every day from December 1st to the 25th. And then on my vlog channel, I had it by 2017. So I did 17, 18, and 19, and maybe even 2020, I did daily Vlogmas. And then I decided in 2021 that I was gonna like cool it a little bit because Vlogmas is, you know, filming and uploading and editing and you know, looking at your life every day is, it's just a lot. And so I decided to do every other day, like a 12 days of Christmas kind of thing in 2021. I did that for 2022 and 2023. And now here we are in 2024. I can't believe it. So this will be my, this is my ninth Vlogmas. That is absolutely insane. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm at the beginning of a roller coaster that I've never been on before because I'm just like, what's gonna happen? I don't know. But yeah, it's gonna be a really good time. I'm super excited and we'll see if next year I continue doing the like every other day thing or if I maybe switch to like weekly Vlogmas vlogs. But either way, I am super excited. I'm just finishing up getting ready now. We're gonna do a little bit of decorating today. I made my nice Christmas coffee this morning, which was pretty good, I will say. I did like a hot peppermint mocha. I don't have mocha syrup, so I used just like Hershey's chocolate syrup, which like was fine. It was only a little bit. Obviously mocha would be like way better, but it was still pretty good. And then I used oat milk, like I frothed my oat milk. And then I have that like International Delights creamer that I really love. I love the pumpkin spice one. I love the vanilla one. I love the caramel macchiato one and they make it in peppermint mocha. So I added that and it was quite good. So anyway, we are just finishing up getting ready now. I always have the Shirley Temple curls going first before I like, you know, brush them out and stuff. And they like fall out a little bit, but Today is actually Thanksgiving. <gasps> Spoiler, not everyone films everything in real time, but also in order to make Vlogmas a little more manageable this year, I wanted to get started a little bit early. So um, yeah, we are gonna be prepping for Thanksgiving today. And also I'm just in the festive spirit. I wanna decorate. I have some inspo that I have gathered from like Pinterest, TikTok, etc. that I'll share with you. We're going to, we don't have, we can't get our tree yet, but that'll definitely be in the next Vlogmas. We'll get like our real tree, we'll decorate our tree, but we're gonna just get, like get all of our Christmas stuff out. We're probably gonna decorate just like the house and everything besides the tree. And then I have like some ideas for some DIYs and stuff like that that we will definitely do in the next like Vlogmas or the one after that. And I'm super excited. So that pretty much covers it. I'm gonna zhuzh up my hair. I'm just doing it now so I don't have to do it later. And then we will get started on the decorating. Freaking Vlogmas. Can't believe it. Okay, I just ate, so sorry if you see anything in my teeth. But okay, here's sort of like my inspo and, and what I'm kind of going for with the look. Basically this year, and actually for the last probably like three or four Christmases, 
I just get so tired of like the modern Christmas vibe. Like, and no, there's literally, I feel so stupid that I have to disclaim this, but like, if that's your vibe, that's totally fine. If you like a minimalist Christmas, amazing. But I just am feeling more and more drawn every single year to like the nostalgic, maximalist, tacky Christmas of my childhood. So I did save a couple of um, TikToks that I just thought were really cool and I liked the vibe of. Things that like maybe I want to recreate, things that I want to repeat from last year, some DIY stuff. First off, we got to make more Christmas mocktails like we did last year or cocktails or whatever, like the glittery kind. Look how fun that is. So we'll probably do that. I think we're hosting Christmas Eve here this year with the Drew's like whole family. So we'll definitely workshop some stuff for that. Um, of course, have to repeat what I did last year, which is the orange garland. Like this is just so nostalgic and cute. I will also definitely be doing a simmer pot with like the butts and some apples and stuff. Look how fun. And then you just string it on a little garland. I'm thinking I saw one that like is several strings of them hanging in the window. I may do that depending on how many oranges we can get. There it is. One of my faves, love it. And then definitely feeling these old school kind of paper chain stars, very just like fun, tacky, maximalist kind of vibe, like I said. Also just like everything about this kitchen, so cute, a little wreath over the window, or a garland I mean, some wreaths over the cabinets, like just such cute vibes. Little bows maybe where some art is. We'll see about that. I love this star garland, like adding some stars. Definitely already purchased all of that stuff. So that's gonna be fun. We'll probably do that in the next vlog. And then I also took a screenshot of like a little staircase moment. Obviously our staircase is just like solid, but something like this, so cute. So that's what we're gonna do and focus, excuse me, mostly on today. Um, first things first, we need to defollify this house. Okay, this house is covered in orange and leaves and pumpkins and I'm over it. We've been decorated since like, I don't know, the end of September or something like that. So it is definitely time. We're gonna like do that. I also have some things to show you that I thrifted the other day, some really cute thrifted Christmas decor. We're gonna set up basically like a vintage Christmas village. It's gonna be a blast, okay. But anyways, first things first, here's what needs to go. So dead flowers. Pumpkins, I don't wanna see another pumpkin until next October, I'm over it. The garland has to go. The garland over there has to go. All the orange pillows, etc. It just, it has to go. It is eviction day for fall in this house. So let's get started. Okay, first things first, even though it's quite literally not even 10 in the morning, we gotta turn on the fireplace, which we usually put the Yule log from Netflix on the TV, but now we have a fireplace, even though it's fake. Instantly cozy. I just, I have to do this first. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Even Drew was like, I don't want to see any more orange. Goodbye. This, super cute, but we will see you again next year. And we need to find a better um, hanging method next year for sure. <laughs> These flowers are actually leftover birthday flowers. Our friends, Hannah and John, got Drew flowers for his birthday and it was so sweet, but they are now dead and it is time for them to go. This was like the remnants that we could save. They lasted a couple weeks though. These can also go. We will wash those. Okay, I'm trying to just like set everything aside before we go into this giant Harry Potter closet where like quite literally all the way to the back is Christmas stuff back there. So um, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, these pillows. No more. Should I, actually, I'm gonna remove this tablecloth because we need to wash it before we store it. I think it's actually probably time to wash all these blankets too, so we will um, we will wash these. Oh, down goes my phone. And then we can just start from scratch. We are actually getting a new couch, which I'm so excited about. We've had these for about four and a half years now, and they're great. They're actually going to Drew's brother-in-law. He's getting like a man cave, and so these are going in there for the time being, so it's not like we're like getting rid of them, but we're making room for a really, really cozy couch. I don't wanna say it was like an impulsive decision, but we were actually couch shopping with Drew's mom, and we had been wanting a new couch for like years and years, and we decided to treat ourselves. So that's basically like, our Christmas present to each other is this giant couch that we're very excited about. Okay, time to wash. So yeah, pretty soon both of these will be gone and then one big old couch will be in its place and I can't wait. Pumpkin, pumpkin. All right, it's 
I was influenced to purchase a six foot tall Buddy the Elf oh by one of our nieces. And you know what? I stand by that decision. So we will have to blow that up at some point today. Have you seen the other one that's scary? No. It's like a lifelike, but his face looks like it's I feel like Sarah was an animatronic about that. kind of thing. Or somebody. And it does about. not look like him at all. It Ew. just looks like a fing creepy Ew. white guy in an elf. Sorry, I'm going on a rant. <laughs> rant away, my darling. Let's go out of town. Oh my god, I still get anxiety pulling suitcases out because I, like, Layla used to just freak out when she knew we were going out of town. And still, it's like one of those things that's still stuck with me. I'm just like, <gasps> we have to be quiet with the suitcases. All right. Actually, really sad. Is this a. Is this no, we can take out. Sure, here. why not? Tote number one! Come on down! I feel like they're all mixed oh, up. Oh yeah! I think it's both. Okay, so we'll just take... This can go with our village too. No, that's gonna be separate. Oh. Different scale. <laughs> the miniature maker has spoken. All right, I had to take a little intermission to have my call with my dad. Had a little Thanksgiving check-in. And I miss him a lot, but I think he'll be here possibly like sometime right after the holidays. So that'll be great and he'll stay with us and stuff. Okay, so now here we have the the bins. We have de thanksgiving -ified, de fallified the house. Where do we actually begin? Oh, also I pulled out some of my, I think this is like Christmas sweaters and stuff like that. Um, I don't know where to begin because a lot of this stuff is Christmas tree stuff, but we're going to do that in the next vlog like I mentioned. So maybe we'll separate this first and then go from there. Oh my god, we have a lot of clothes. Holy shit. I love the way British people say bubbles. Ooh. Christmas bubbles. That's so terrible, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, here come the gnomes. Woo! Give it up. We have about 45 gnomes. We don't have many anymore. <laughs> we did definitely had to pare down. But we've got, you know, I think that's all we have. We decent have amount. Four. Yeah, just the four. And they're cute. I think I thrifted this little tea light thing. Yeah, and it's so cute and fun. I think I suggested like, putting it in the Christmas village, but like the, ice the mayor, the mayor of Christmas girl. Um, That's my village. The kind that, well, the deer, can they be in the village? No, they're too big. They're oh. like monster deer. <laughs> the wrong scale. Okay, Come sorry. On. Don't ruin my I, Christmas. Yeah, this is mostly, thank God. Oh my God, are you ready for this? The, the, the spruce. Oh! Yeah, I want to inject it. We have our so. thrifted tinsel. I thrifted this tinsel, I think, in like 2021. Okay, there's five. Oh, five gnomes. Candles. <laughs> is this ornaments? Yes, these are your childhood ornaments. Yeah, I definitely want the candles. This is a good one. Oh, yeah, the Trader Joe's one. Mm -hmm. Yum. Ooh, this is a good bathroom one. I don't know why sweet mm -hmm. scents go mm -hmm. in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cover up the poop. Cover up the poopies. <laughs> Don't poop at my house. I'm just kidding you. <laughs> oh, we have another holiday spruce. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Ornaments and all that. This will be for the next vlog. Until next year, friends. Okay, we also have a fun little, oh my god, this song is so Christmassy. We have a fun little Christmas tablecloth. And I also, actually I'll show you now, I thrifted some stuff. I thrifted a bunch of really cute, fun stuff. We also bought this at Target. This isn't thrifted, but like a cute little Christmas tree that we're gonna set out. I found this cute little tea light holder. It's like a vintage Santa snowman situation. He actually had a candy cane in his hand and it came broken, so we'll have to fix that, but we already like washed that and sanitized it. I found these cute vintage um, cloth napkins. How fun. That'll be like fun to mix and match with the tablecloth. I got a couple of candlesticks and I got some uh, velvet ribbon that's burgundy and like a forest green. And so we can like tie some ribbon or like little bows around the candlesticks. I think that'll be really fun. And then we got an entire miniature Christmas village and had to like wash it. It was really dirty and gross. But this one is Santa Claus's house. Can you see it? So cute. We have the bunkhouse. We have the toy shop. 
We're gonna make like a little snowy, sparkly, magical Christmas land. I think I said that. We have the candy shop. Very cute. We have the little reindeer stables with all the reindeer's names on them except Rudolph. I don't know why. And then the bakery. How freaking cute. And the other stuff you can see in the background is indeed our stuff to make green bean casserole and we're making sweet potato casserole today. Oh, and we made a banoffee pie. Okay, back to it. It's already feeling so festive. I'm so happy. I'm obsessed. We need to light this candle immediately. Set the vibes. I tried really hard to, yeah we do. We need to charge our little USB lighter, but I tried really hard to find a set of six napkins or like eight or anything like that and it was kind of impossible. And these actually match a little bit better than I thought they would. But maybe I'll find like two more thrifted like vintage ones. I don't know, mix and match them a little bit. Oh. My God, I'm so happy. Don't mind the fan, it's Arizona. Okay, garland time. Okay, here's where we've landed so far with styling the shelves. I think it's really fun and festive and like we'll obviously play around with it, tweak it a bit. But we're getting somewhere. This is so festive. I almost said Uncle Drew to the vlog. Like I'm literally not kidding. I almost said Uncle Drew because I'm so used to saying that to your nieces. Ew. <laughs> Drew has requested that this goes in. So quickly. <laughs> You're divorcing me. <laughs> I'm so used to being with like his family and being like, oh yeah, Uncle Drew does this. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'll have to say the freaking eggnog candles going in there. Bye. Here is a variety of candlesticks that we have. So these were the two that I thrifted. I can't remember if I showed those or not. We have this brass one, this glass one, and then these little gold like holiday ones. And I'm gonna tie little velvet ribbons to each of these and then we're gonna put them somewhere in the living room, I think, or maybe on the table as well. Don't know. This is your new <laughs> use for a girl. You're about to take that plant out. <laughs> Slay. Christmas jumper. <laughs> Drew goes, what do you think about this garland over this? And I go, oh my God, you're a genius. He goes, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not bad. Minus the bananas that we really need to eat. It's pretty cute. This is so fun and cute. Why does everyone else's bows look cute and mine looks like that? Yeah, mine looks like dog shit. <laughs> Your one leg sticking out? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. But like you get the vibe, right? The vibe is there. I think once they're all done, I think it'll look a lot cuter. I'm gonna do a red one. The f is that? Well. It's concepts of a bow. <laughs> Why can't we tie bows? What's wrong with us? Here, you do that one. Ooh, this one's long and pretty. Cute. We also have a little tea light for this thing. We were wondering if maybe it originally came with a like a lampshade of some kind, but definitely not over an open flame. So maybe it just truly is supposed to look like that, but that's gonna be so fun. Let's put these in there. Another little bow on this one. Okay, it's couch, couch cushion. Couch cushion. <laughs> it's couch cushion time. Where do we want these? I don't know. Just go for it and see what sticks. One fuzzy per couch. One fuzzy, one green, can one we red. The, can we put the, this one over there? Cause I like using this. One. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of better. Yeah, and then we'll have like a little blanket. Like in the okay, cool. Okay, for now we've gotten rid of the fuzzies. And there's where we've landed. They're looking a little naked, but the blankets will be back soon. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
We'll work on that. Okay, next we're gonna do the garland bows thing that I saw on the staircase. So I haven't decided if I wanna do it on the outside right here or up the railing right here. Cause it's like ideally that would be here and like it's much easier to just wrap it around that. You don't see it as much, but also you will see it. It's just not as like obvious as out here. I mean, there's gonna be someone telling me to do one or the other and I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be too late. So we'll just see. There she goes up the stairs. If we're feeling fancy, maybe we'll put like a string of lights over these at some point, but I'm satisfied with that. That's cute. All right, next we're moving on to the kitchen. So we got these cute little towels from Drew's mom. I think she got them at Target. And we're gonna put them on our little oven. It's very cute, very festive, very demure. These are decorative. Don't wipe your hands on them. He's learned over the years. I'm like, get, get, don't drive that. That's what my mom was too. She put like the Christmas stuff out like a week before and we're like, there's no yeah, towel in the bathroom. You figure it out. How are we supposed to dry our hands off? <laughs> okay, so we got these little mini wreaths to go on, and they be fluffed. Ooh. To go on here, but I hate the ribbon this that it ugly. came with. Can we turn the light on? Oh no, I guess it's fine. Mm. Can you see everything okay? So yeah, I don't know. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God. Oh my God. Perfect. All right, took a snack break. Did a little brainstorm. We don't like the ribbon that this came with, so I think we might get other ribbon. So just picture coming up soon. You know? Pretty cute. So we'll do that on each of these little cabinets, but like maybe in the next vlog, I'll add some ribbon to my list. Cause the ribbon, the velvet ribbon that I have, it, there isn't enough of it. So this is a TBD. TBDL, to be done later. Okay, now we're gonna hang this here garland up here, but I Not think we might have to nail little it. little too short too there. This window's freaking huge. Parkour. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're gonna put a pin in this for now because we're gonna either add like some star garland like I showed you the gold and or potentially like some of the vertical hanging um, orange garland, but it's looking cute for now. I'm happy with it. Okay, next what I think we're gonna do is what we've been waiting for this whole time, which is the Christmas village. So we've got our little package of fake snow. There you have it. And then we're gonna set it down on this little like dresser thing that we have over here that truly is just there because it was given to us. It's like a hand-me-down from Drew's great aunt. We don't really know the exact shape that we want. I'm trying to figure that out. I think we're gonna put the snow down and then just vibe. We actually also bought this string of lights to use for it, but I don't think it's gonna work with like the outlet and stuff. So I think we're just gonna do the battery powered LED lights that we already have. Way to go. Just hand it in the middle. Oh no. It's too, it's too fluffy. <laughs> it's just, they're buried in a cloud. I don't, yeah, what it's really do? like snow. Oh, it's not. BRB. Okay, Drew's in there figuring out another method. He's maybe thinking we could put like all the little houses and like pedestals or something. But in the meantime, I need to blow up this Buddy the Elf. Like I simply need to know <laughs> what it looks like. It says it's six feet tall. So I mean, that would come up to like, I don't know, here-ish or something, which is very exciting for me. So we're gonna plug it in and see what happens. This is the best day of my life. It's a moment of truth. Let there be Buddy. Yes. <laughs> this was like fifty dollars, full disclosure, but I could be happier about it. <laughs> yes, I did just film a TikTok slash Instagram reel with my buddy the elf outside just now, and um, I couldn't be happier about it. But now Drew has found a solution 
for the snow dilemma. So here it is. Position these how we want them. But the toy shop is the last one. And then Santa's in the middle? Santa's in the middle. Ish? Ish. Let's put, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. And there it is. Our snowy North Pole village. It's so cute. I love it. It's so kitschy and exactly what I wanted. And now we need more things. I actually saw a thing at the thrift store that had a little, looked like a little ice skating pond. We'll have to um, refer to our uh, project manager for that because he's very specific about the scale. But you know, yeah, we're um, we're off to a great start. Maybe and I now I want a million more ones. things. Yeah, I like the way this is going. This is my passion here. This every year, this is my passion. I've acquired five new houses this year, the windmill. And these four homes right here, plus the shoe. All right, I think that's where we're gonna stop for today, because we have to make our food, our couple sides that we're making, and then we also have to like get ready. My mom's coming over here around 2.30, I think it's 12.30 now. We've been doing this for like three hours, so I think this is where we're gonna end it, but I am so pleased. Everything is just looking so cozy and festive, and it's only gonna go up from here. Like, we're gonna really go all out this year, because why not? I literally can't see. Um, it's been... It has been a little weird being back in this house and like decorating this house yet again because if you're new and haven't been here before, um, Drew and I actually lived in this house from 2020 to 2022 and we moved back in 2024. And so it's just been like a really unique experience. We thought it was gonna be, be very much of a like, oh my God, it feels like we're coming home type of thing. And while we're super grateful to have this house to come home to, um, it's been strange. <laughs> like we lived an entire life and you know built an entire kind of like new life somewhere else and then coming back has just felt really weird i've talked about that and um you know we're just taking advantage of having all of this space and we are probably going a little overboard <laughs> with the decorating and stuff but it's truly just um holding on to any joy that we can have during this holiday season so that's what we're doing and it makes me so happy i'm not even close to done but i feel like this is a good place to start we have our tree tomorrow we have to decorate that whole thing we have all of the windows that we want to do all of the diys there's going to be so many fun garlands and like oh i'm just so excited for this vlogmas and to get as cozy and festive as possible and of course just like also live my regular life but yeah now we're gonna go do some thanksgiving things because sorry it is thanksgiving today but it's literally christmas like that is in my mind thanksgiving like i'm not even a thanksgiving person really um so in my mind it's just christmas time but the elf is still going outside and now we're gonna make some food and then get ready and get dressed and head over to drew's sister's house for thanksgiving that'll be really fun my mom's coming this year and Drew's brother just got married recently, and so his wife and her parents are coming, so it'll be like a full house, it'll be really fun. Anyways, oh, I need to turn off this light for outside. Ooh, also, we got these really cool, what are these even called, light switch plate covers? I actually saw this on TikTok, someone recommended it, and I will say, these are pricey, okay? We wanted to like buy one and test it out and see how we felt about it, because it just adds such a fun, sort of like vintage, ornate vibe. And it honestly is so nice that we're gonna order some more for our kitchen but I'll link them down below, but just keep in mind, like they are kind of pricey. It just makes us happy. So we went for it and it's so, so pretty. Okay, making sure all these lights are off and let's go cook. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out what I am wearing today. So I'm leaning towards, so I have two tops and two bottoms to choose from basically. I have this little top that I think I got from like Macy's or something. I don't know if I love the way it's fitting, but I love these little leopard jeans. These are from Gap. They kind of need a little steam, but I also have, hold on. Alternatively, we have these two pieces. So we could do this skirt that I got from Arula for my collab with Sierra with this white top or I also have this brown sweater that I thrifted that I could do with these jeans or like 
this skirt, I guess, as well. And then here are my two shoe options. So for this look, I would probably do my silver sneakers. I don't think I'm feeling this. So this is probably a no. Let's see what the sweater looks like. I desperately <laughs> need to clean this mirror. Oh my God. Okay, so here is the brown, but I don't think these tones really go well together. So let's switch into this brown sweater and the skirt and like see where we can go from there. Okay, I think I like this better. Oh my God, this mirror. I'm so sorry that you have to view that. I think I like this better. This is definitely more the vibe. It's like not that cold outside though. And I also have these boots. These are the Vince Camuto wide calf boots that I could do with this. That is extremely Thanksgiving coated. And then I have my cute glasses. I actually got a couple new pairs of glasses from iBuyDirect, not sponsored at all. But I got this cute little pair that has kind of like a rounded, like oval sort of frame. So here is what those look like. I'll obviously have to like smooth out my hair. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Hmm. The only other option, like I said, is this top with this skirt. I just don't think I'm feeling this top. I feel like this would be better with like a cute little pair of jeans or something. I think this is where we're ending up with the boots. I'm not obsessed with it, but we gotta go. Okay, you know what? I tried on a couple more things. This is what I have landed on. I have these nice like wide calf boots from, I think they're originally from Torrid, but I got them on ThreadUp. And that's pretty much gonna do it for the first Vlogmas of 2024. Can you believe it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna go spend some time with family and I hope you're doing the same. And if not, then I hope that you find a little bit of comfort in being here and having like a little bit of a chosen family here. I am sending you a lot of love. I'm gonna go put those sweet potatoes in the oven and roast those marshmallows. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna eat so much food. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon for Vlogmas number two. Bye. <laughs>